Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0, Day 55. So as we begin to wrap up this challenge, we've covered the majority of the content of the um, applets that we have here in KW Command. So today is kind of an update to uh, several videos that we did earlier in the month or last month or even last year when we were working on agent sites. So I want to show you an update that you now have available within sites. And that is the ability to now add uh, logos and or additional links for compliance sake. So if you come into sites here on the bottom left, you're going to click on agent site settings. And then you'll see here at the top, you can go to your marketing profile. So if you want to make changes to your digital presence, go to marketing profile. And that's going to take you into the marketing profile from settings. And you can now scroll down and if you get towards the bottom here, you're going to see the new ability to now add legal footer links. So you can add up to five links for legal footer images and you can add up to five of these. You can see that the images must be smaller than one megabyte and the recommended size is 128 by 48. So that might include um, fair housing, maybe it's the realtor logo, um, maybe it's the MLS logo. Um, if there's specific logos that your board requires, your state requires, etc. I could even see people putting in logos here for, uh, if they have the extra spots, they could put in something like uh, their ABR logo, logo, GRI, SRES, you know, luxury, those kind of things as well. Um, obviously, it's intended for compliance sake, so make sure you have all of your compliance logos, lo logos loaded, excuse me. And then you also have the ability, of course, to add these links. So you could add um, links for things like compliance. I know here in Texas, we have to have an information about brokered services and Texas Consumer Protection Notice uh, sent to clients that needs to be available for the consumer to see. So those would be examples of links to documents that we could include, and those would show up on all of our site pages. So that is an update. I think we used to be able to have one link. Now you can have up to five. I don't think that footer images used to be available and they are now available up to five of those. So you'd want to go through and just add your link or upload your images. And once you were completed, you would just come back down and save. And then you would see those start to show up at the bottom of all of your uh, agent site pages. Uh, if you are in Market Center Leadership, you now do have the ability to additionally go into your Market Center site and upload links there. So I don't believe that that was previously available. Now you can actually go into, if you are on the leadership side of things, coming into Command MC and going through editing your agent site from the agent site, excuse me, your market center site from the market center side and now have the ability to add compliance links to your market center website as well. So you would go through Command MC, click on Sites, Market Center, choose your Market Center, then go down towards the bottom here, and you'll see that you now have the ability to add compliance footer links here. So here's where you could add those links to documents that might be required for your Market Center sites. So that really only applies to leadership team members, and yet if you are an agent, you now have the ability to add those logos and footer links in your site as well. So that's it for today. Hope you guys all had a fantastic day and are looking forward to a great weekend. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.